welcome to this fun colorful look using melt lovesick shadows uh, here's a breakdown of the colors this is fixated it's a gorgeous matte bluish gray then you have a millie which is a peachy gold shimmery color that you can use actually as a highlighter as well this is lovesick it's a matte burgundy red i love 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 this color and finally promiscuous which is this shimmery purplish almost violet blue color these are all large pan shadows and the best part are they are magnetic and you can stack them up there's a mirror on top great for traveling isn't this genius love 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 them um i started on my other eye already now for my first color i'm using love sick the um burgundy matte and i actually forgot to put on a base first but did you see how pigmented that was with that one i mean come on brown girls I know you're gonna love these they're super pigmented I still put on a base because you know this helps with creasing and helps your shadow stay on a little longer so you know I did a horrible job of getting it off but um, I'm just applying the base where my shadows are gonna go and cleaning that nose area and then going back in with a blending brush and I'm buffing this color above my crease and I am concentrating on the outermost part and dragging the excess over into my crease as I normally do when I'm blending the crease and to blend out this top area on, underneath my brow I'm using my foundation powder mineralized skin finish in dark I don't highlight my brow as usual and um, this just helps me blend um, right on under the brow area for a nice smooth transition and my next color I am using promiscuous this violet purple color and I'm using a flat synthetic brush to paint this all over my lid I used about two layers and I stopped where I met the outer V area it's real I really really love this purple I'm a fan of purple shadows I think they look gorgeous on my skin tone and this one um, it's gorgeous as well next color I used is fixated I wanted to use all the shadows so I had to find a place to put this one and I just left this little outer V area to buff that in with this dome brush by Sephora it helped to darken up the look a little bit and uh, add some more color to it I actually really loved um, loved it on the purple so I just buffed that into the outer V and blended the transition with the purple and then went back into my crease with a blending brush adding a little bit more of the love sick color into the crease so that it would pop a little bit more and blended everything for a nice smooth transition Next, I am, well, I didn't record my highlight and contour, but you guys can always check the previous videos for that. I was kind of in a rush with all this, so I kind of skipped that part, but you can check a previous video for that. For my under eye area, I used a smudging brush to buff in um, the Love Sick. This is the color that I wanted to be the focal point of the eye besides the lid. I wanted this color to really make my eyes look nice and edgy, so I applied it really heavily on my lash line and stopped where I met the inner corner because I applied this a milli I hope I'm saying that right into the inner quarters with this little detailing brush I believe by BH cosmetics this is just gonna brighten up the eyes a little bit and um, make it a little bit more playful it's um, a really pretty peachy gold and when you add these types of colors to the inner corner it kind of brightens up your entire eye so I'm blending that into the burgundy color and then applying my liner tight lining at the top and I always use this LA girl cosmetics very black gel liner on my waterline and I'm going to smudge it out with a this is just a slanted brush by Kelly Baker brows and I'm using the blue color I believe it was fixated and I'm just smudging out my lash line with this very small amount of shadow for a very subtle smoke very very subtle and um, my eyeliner I used like I mean I think this is Tarte Precision Liner yeah Tarte Precision Liner and I created my wing first as usual um, when you're using these liner pins it helps to hold the pin sideways and press on it a little bit to get the product out and apply less less pressure towards the tip for a sharp wing uh, create your liner I mean your wing fill it in and then connect it with the liner on your lid and make sure it's nice and black I also used Tarte's mascara for my bottom lashes and um, blended my 
Real Lashes Into My Falsies, I used Pixie Lux House of Lashes. And since they were new, I added a tiny, tiny coat by sweeping them gently over the lashes to make them a little bit more defined. And uh, that was it for the eyes. Um, very fun, a little edgy, lots of color. I love, love color. So the key when you're using a lot of colors is to make sure you're blending well. Um, for my lips, please ignore the chaviness, long story, um, but I'm using the Ellery Liner from ColourPop. It's very creamy, so it's helping conceal my chapped lips. And um, for the inner inner portion of my lips, I use Bang Bang, also by Melt. It's very burnt orange color, really, really pretty. And I created an ombre effect by adding more liner. Um, going back and forth with the line of the lipstick to make sure it was a gradient transition. I just wanted like the inner most part of my lips to have a little glow to it and I concentrated the liner on the outer most part of my lips and lightened up towards the center. That was it for this look y'all. Very very fun. It's very different. I kind of just you know when you have a new makeup and you want to use everything it was one of those type of days but I hope you liked it. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Check my blog, MissEllery.com, as well as my clothing store, YoshiDoll.com. And if you have any suggestions, don't forget to leave them in the comments section. And I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Love you guys. Hope you loved it. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Mwah.